right. All right. Our mics. Our mics are live. Hello, What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Hello. It's time for a watch along. Uh, Our annual Raw after WrestleMania watch along spectacular. Did we do this last year? We did. Yeah, we did. We suffered through last year's Raw after we Mania. Did. Wow. Wow. Look at we us. certainly did. Big dummies. Oh. Shouldn't have done it. Fightful's got the raw plans. Huge spoilers, they say. Oh no! Yeah, don't read them. <laughs> oh wow! Don't don't do that. Of course. Oh, Triple H. New era. I don't know if you heard, Steve. It's a new era. Triple H era. Paul Levesque era. PLE Premium Levesque era. Premium Levesque event. Are they going to be thanking him? I think the Who crowd's going to give him the crowd. Yeah. Oh, I thought you trip. Is Triple H going to be tri thank you, Triple H? I want to first up. I want to thank the game. Uh, Before I go any further, I want to thank myself. I want to thank me. I was the leak. <laughs> wow, Triple H wow, admitting game. to leaking out the. Uh, the we got a raid here from Mastodon. Thank you so much, Mastodon. Hey, thank you, Mastodon. Appreciate Hope you're it. Doing well. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, Ryan K. Lamb here says, so Sasha, Okada, and MJF show up tonight, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Joe Horaz says, actually watching Raw tonight. Imagine that. So are we. We're watching it as well, yeah. Yeah. We and here's the thing. Raw. During what they call promos, Larson, can you explain to the people what a promo is? So when someone either backstage or in the ring has a microphone in hand, much like I have this non-alcoholic beer, although they usually have it. In this position, not that, and they speak into the mic like I am in this mic per se, and then they they talk whether to do a self promotion promo, an advertising promo, yeah, a uh, charity challenge, promo. or they do a heel face turn. Yeah, right. And uh, during those segments, we are going to shut the fuck up. So if you just see two older gentlemen sitting here, like yeah, doing this. <laughs> then you know somebody on the screen is talking and don't bug us about like, why are you guys just being quiet? You know what Triple H likes here? Validation. He does like his validation. It's like people hit, hitting the, 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 yep, the, like, the button. like button. Brandon Weller says, what happened to my GM? Um, me, Larson and I are going to have some conversations tomorrow uh, in between basketball sessions on like programming for friendo club yeah oh that was a great name dr trilogy with the sub thank you dr trilogy <laughs> mr sequel diehard nervous says last night first mini had absolute blast thankfully it's not part of the crowd they had to chant for the lights the building pop huge for taker i get oh, that yeah. in before triple h probably says a couple sentences here says, tonight we're here to celebrate me <laughs> me That's Triple H. No thank yous that I hear. Thank you, Hunter. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look what I did. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you think Scorsese would love to come out to a rousing ovation like this? Oh, I know. Thank you, Get that Marty. kind of reception at the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shucks. Imagine Scorsese coming out. That was the greatest movie of all time. Departed, greatest movie of all time. You know, because of me. Me. Me, I did it.
Cody Rhodes. Uh... So apologies. It seems like the Twitch stream is a bit on the unstable side. Oh, is it? That's what it says. Do you mm. want to try to stream from your end? Or are you set up for it? I'm not set up for it. Currently, okay. No. Uh, yeah. Apologies, everybody. It's I don't, I don't know, know why. I mean, look, man, I'm I'm doing the restream thing here. I can turn it off and turn it on again. See if that works. Uh, AJ Otani says, what's the best slash cheapest way to watch weeklies? I've had to yarg them for a month. Wait, what? The What's the best cheapest way to watch? Whoa! Weeklies. What are weeklies? What are weeklies? I don't know what that means. You trying to say Wheatley? Wheatley. Oregon Grinders here asking how we're doing. Doing swell. Oh doing good i'd be happier if uh the twitch stream was more stable yeah, I don't but deal is with that well i'm going through a restream um and it seems like my youtube version is fine so but the twitch, twitch version is not great think. so i don't know what the deal with that the is same information Apologies. going to both places so you think yeah who knows man one was screwy on because of restream both of them would be weird is that the same title right there? Same title, Cody. Same title. You promised it. new title. Already breaking your promises, huh? Huh? Mr. Excuse me, Runnels. Pardon me. How rude. Here you go, everybody. One more time. Whoa! <laughs> oh, look at that. Everybody brought the same Cody Road sign from home. Wow. Imagine that. That's impressive. What are the odds? What are the odds? New name pending says, has anyone else noticed they stopped saying universal champion? So they've been very like start and stop on it. Last night, Samantha yeah. did say undisputed universal champion, but Cody has said that he's going to get rid of that nomen. Yeah, just WB champion. Uh, Scooter Wrist and Bit says, will you get a chance to listen to the Trish and Sarah wrestling podcast about CM Punk's interviews? Wait, do we, what? The someone's, someone's uh, Trish and Sarah wrestling podcast does a deep dive analysis of CM Punk's interview, apparently. Um, no, I don't know who that is, but maybe I'll check it out. Nightmares with the sub. Thank you, Nightmares. I feel like I've seen uh, the CM Punk interview, so I did a I'll Steve deep dive. A lot of people are saying stream's fine for them, so hopefully that's the case. I had one Wait. brief dip, and that's it. Oh, okay, the Twitch stream? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah everything's going fine so far. Well, hopefully it, it goes okay. I got up over here. Evolution with the sub, thank you. Oh, there you go, Mr. Pie Lord says, hit him with pedigree trips. Oh, yeah, dude. Set for the next universal champion. Your old universal champion. Triple H. Triple H never universal champion, I don't believe. They're talking to me, Cody. I deserve it. I deserve your title. I deserve your title. Whoa. Cody's still figuring out how to hold the title. Wow. 
It's a big venue then. I didn't know the yeah. Wells Fargo Center was that large. What the said. fuck is that? <laughs> you got a 32 inch screen out there. I know. He said, We gotta go bootleg. <laughs> You know, I still maintain one of the best video packages was uh, that Cody Brock one, the David uh, Kushner song. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that song. <laughs> Feed Lord says trips wheeling in the TV like my eighth grade teacher. Uh, yeah. It's got the straps on the TV. Yeah, exactly. Big old projection screen. Why not the overhead projector, huh? Yeah. Was Cody in any of the PWG shows we went to? Yeah, he wrestled uh, Cameron Grimes, Trevor Lee. That's Open. right. The first that one was he the went match. to. Yeah, that's right. In the opener. Oh, man, he's crying. They had to cut away from him because he's crying. Bruce Pritchard's there in Gorilla. Cody's got an ugly cry. Cut away from him. <laughs> Cody's going to be this generation's Ric Flair just crying on the dime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Champion and Logan says, Triple H era, nice way of saying post Vince era. Yeah, pretty much. Diver Dan says, uh, never did this for Roman. <laughs> this is some favoritism for Triple H. <laughs> it's era of optimism, Steve. That's why. Yeah. C Zero says, hello, friendos. Welcome to the terror rising era. Uh, Nick's third nipple says, no table in the ring. If there is a new title, will they reveal it on SmackDown? I don't think it's a guarantee there's going to be a new title. From a marketing standpoint, I'm sure they want to keep the one with the giant logo on the front <clears throat> oh start to cry again Ray Rack says, uh, running up the hill promo package for Taker and Sean Media 26, the best of all time. It's really good. That one is really good. That might be my favorite. Not people say mine. Wait, who, what, it was which one? There's an Undertaker, Sean one for Mania 26 to, with the uh, placebo's cover of running up the hill. Running oh, up the yeah. Hill, the Bush yeah, song. yeah. It's yeah. so good. Oh, there it is. Waterworks. Can I call you my new dad now? <laughs> <laughs> Dope says last year's Rob Tremaine was better. Because <laughs> 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 we had Omos versus the Lions. I know, and a squash. <laughs> Nat says, where's Damien's package? That's a good point. He needs to truck down here and be like, the fuck are you doing on my no. show? 
cash in my briefcase on a, a video package. <laughs> He's retiring. He's going to take his boots off. Or at least his loafers. Big like, well, I want it. There's nothing <laughs> else to have it now. Story's done. Muted Mayday. So now he's trying to drink the belt. <laughs> oh, man, he's not getting that through this promo without just full on waterworks. I know. Ugly cry. Ugly cry. Do a Cody hey, ugly hey, cry. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, thank you, but I can't hold it together. <laughs> Interrupted by Judgment Day. I know. Judgment Day meme. She's so cute. Oh, she got rid of the universal. God damn, she's so good. She is. But you want to I mean, see the last time it, we do dude, it. So, you know, might be the last time we do it. time this could be the last time everybody put your ones up could be one could be the last time he's like well okay everybody that's good enough that's good no it's it's funny this chance getting louder than my chant no no good Yeah. 
<laughs> God oh, himself told me. Look at that. Set up to put himself over. Whoa, buddy. Not the S-E word. It's pro wrestling these days, buddy. It's going to be a bunch of video packages. Oh. Liberty bibbity. <laughs> oh, no. Papa is not a scrub mid-carter. No. <laughs> He's not in the Andre. <laughs> Papa gets his own locker room. Disputed. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 Throw him up, Steve. Da, 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 <laughs> put him up. Might be the last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Rock's getting his match tonight. He's got his title with him. I love it. How many times is The Rock going to say fuck during this promo, Larson? Oh, several. Several. I'll be honest. I like that stage setup a lot. If they can pack it, me too. If yeah. they oh, can obviously. pack it. Obviously. If it's, it's like nobody fine. there, <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Look at all that force lightning. Oh, geez. Look at that. Oh, man. So many people getting fried in the crowd. Uh, Scooter here says, speaking of Scorsese, you hear he's doing a docuseries about Saints as a Fox Nation exclusive. I did not hear that. A Fox Nation exclusive? That sounds like an April Fool's Day thing. It does, a docuseries about Saints is fascinating, though. That'd be interesting, yeah. Fox Nation? Maybe they meant Fox Network. IML says, I want this priest run to be like an NXT. Show us... Him with the belt in a hot tub. Oh, yeah. Oh, I agree. A G Man Fi gifted a sub. Thank you. Uh... Justin Garza says, I call three fucks by the rock. Three many fucks. Isn't Fox Nation the one that runs like repeats of cops? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Costner had something. I mean, I'm not not to legitimize Fox Nation. I'm sure it's the shithole shit hole like Fox News is. I think Tyrus had a show on Fox Nation first, but I think so. So, mm. well, maybe they're trying to mainstream it up. Got a long Scorsese, way to go. Scorsese, Costner, Yellowstone News. It's all kayfabe, Yellowstone News. Yeah, kayfabe. From, live from the Dutton Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> the latest word is they're trying to get some permits for more land or something. Yeah. So I'm trying to, trying to pull the rug out from under the Dutton Ranch to build an airport and a resort. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how bad the rock's legs hurt today. Oh. 
knees, the hips. You know, I mean, the next day he wasn't hobbling around. Like on Sunday, he was all right. He looked a little labored getting up on that second turn buckle, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Ew, he Cheese is. Man says it had Roseanne Barr and Rob Schneider stand-up specials. Oh, gosh. Ugh. It'd be great if Priest came out. Rock got to hit him with it. It doesn't matter what your name is. Who oh, you just want to bury Priest you? right away. <laughs> I mean, they're doing a good job already. I was like, oh, today I was like, oh, both belts can kind of be on par. Nah, nah. <laughs> Priest doesn't get a video package. You should just stare at him and go, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Oh, wow. Undertaker chance. <laughs> DJ E says, let's see Paul Allen's belt. <laughs> Good reference. Oh, it's got a watermark. It's got a watermark. Thwacky says, this is where Austin comes out. He was too busy hanging out with his cats. I'm feeling better. CJ Loft with the sub, thank you. Ask for to MJF tonight. No, we're not getting MJF tonight. MJF's oh, yeah. AEW. This segment. Setting up Rock versus MJF at uh, Backlash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's commercial free the first hour, which means hours two and three are going to be fucking insufferable. It will be 75% commercials. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, they're giving him Roman After Mania 33 treatment. Yep. <laughs> I think you're right, Zachary Bacon. Entire first hour is going to be this promo. Yeah, I know. Ten words said. Oh, they're saying, fuck you, Rocky? I think they're saying, shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah, oh my God. Rock says. Rock says. Oh, when I thought said it don't matter, but then now there's chanting asshole. Yeah, the it don't matter was pretty clever. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's trying not to laugh. I know. <laughs>
<laughs> and they cheer. <laughs> the rock's laughing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, this is oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I know they will, but when they move to Netflix, gosh, I hope they don't bleep it out. Oh, I second. know. Oh, God, here we go. All right, so, oh, there you go. Cody's trying to get him to. He's trying to get them to chill out a little bit, yeah. <laughs> chill, what the fucks? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh man is that the one available on the uh, wwe shop oh i don't know Cassius Maximus, I kind of noticed that too.
Uh oh. Well, this is terrifying. I know. Is there any way The Rock could hold that title, he said. This is such movie villain shit. It really is. I, I fucking know. love it. <laughs> oh god what is he gonna do don't be a dope cody <laughs> God, this is so fucking good. Oh, he's got to put over his shoulder. Barack. <laughs> this is awkward. They're chanting. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, gosh.
Man, I fucking love that. Oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. Cody's making it personal now. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that shit. Pulls his hand in his pocket, his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think's in the hand? I don't know. Was it one of them watches that was going around? Something to, something Dusty gave the rock or something? <clears throat> oh, maybe. Or gave gave his dad? <laughs> Your boy Bryce is a dude wipe. <laughs> dude wipe. <laughs> he, he put a dried, <laughs> a dried turd in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Cody's not happy about though. No, he's not. He got in his head. As uh, Chat was mentioning here about who's who's champion, uh, I think it, 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 it bears repeating, as we said before, Maggie is, in fact, our Maggie champion. Maggie is actually our champion. Well, he put it in his pocket. Oh, look at that suit. A priest. Like Rhea's carrying her title like it's another piece of luggage because she's had it for so long. <laughs> and Priest is like, look at this. <laughs> Damn, they put a friggin' uh, camera crew out in the park there. I guess so. They got lost. Uh, Ray here says, I like Pat McAfee, but sometimes he's trying too hard to do a Lawler impression, doing little quips in between promo lines. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I kind of noticed that, too. It doesn't bother me as much because I, I really like Pat. But, yeah. yeah. Usually when Lawler did that, he'd say something inappropriate, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Ray here says, The Rock is a lot of things, but sucks isn't one of them. The same line he used in 1997 when he first turned heel. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
let's see. Luis says already much better than last last year's, which I went to begrudgingly. I'm trying to get caught up here. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do something. Says final boss rock is so char charismatically sinister. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I love it. I love that opening bit. That was good. That was awesome. Ooh, Shinsuke got a new uh, entrance robe. I think it looks we awesome. Did. It looks uh, beautiful. Champ Fear and Loden says Rock gave Cody the Infinity Stone. <laughs> and uh, Dangham Q says Rock gave Cody an XFL championship ring. Oh, there you go. A hotel sized bottle of Wheatley's, says Aussie. <laughs> a hotel bottle of Wheatley's. That's funny. South they better not go to commercial right now, man. He said the first hour. Oh, here we go. Oh shit! This is like a this is like a call up. He's champion. He didn't quantum leap out. No, no Steve. Just met. Is that that stuff? Yeah, <laughs> it's like super intense. They got all the veins in his <laughs> neck bulging. <laughs> Shinsuke. Look at him. Always looks like he's in pain and conducting music. Do you think that's like real conducting, or do you think that's like Bradley Cooper fake conducting? Ladder. Yeah, he's just doing this. He's just doing that. Yeah. <laughs> he had to get all his plumage on the shoulder out of the way so you could see his face. Isn't the plumage beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get this uh, challenge point prediction up. Even though we all know who's winning this match. Trey Davis Super Chat says, so that was that rocks official. There's the bell. Oh, God. He fucking kicked him right in the head. So it was that rocks official way of saying it's me and you next year at Mania? I don't know when it then. would go down. I'm thinking maybe SummerSlam. SummerSlam, I think. All right, two minutes, everybody. Two minutes. Dragunov. Oh, Jesus. This is the takeover match where we should have had. The stand and deliver match we should have had. Yeah. Freaking... I don't know why I made this a strip. Who wins? <laughs> 98, 97 3, yeah. Okay, so how should we start approaching foregone conclusions? Yeah, I know. Like, over under is one way. Like in the match like this, Nakamura, or sorry, uh, Ilya always seems to bleed from his nose or his mouth every match. Is it, will Ilya bleed? Okay. Um, Oof. Okay, so Kuhn says, what does it mean when you guys say two minutes all the time? So over on Twitch, they've got this thing called channel points. And it's basically just, it's non-monetary. You just yeah. accrue them the more you watch. And Twitch allows you to engage in various ways using channel points. One of the ways they do that is by betting. So you put up, they call it predictions, uh, but you wager your channel points on, uh, on whatever the person running the channel is doing. And so when Larson says two minutes, there's a countdown there. That's the window for you to place your bets uh, for the channel point betting. It's actually a really cool feature they have that I wish YouTube would just steal. Yeah, implement it some fashion. Uh, says, my guess is Rock Cody happens in Saudi Arabia. When is Saudi Arabia coming up? May. It's end of May, I believe. Jorge here says, I predict The Rock will win the belt by November so he can take the WB belt to the Moana 2 opening. The Rock says. Rock says. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> Saudi is king and queen of the ring, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, that looked flush. Holy shit, yeah, dude.
Ó. Oh. Oh, there's an Iliad chant. Uh, I didn't notice it when uh, Cole said it, but people in chat are mentioning that the draft is in two weeks. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, it's champ here in Lowen says, Steve, can you make sure you still have your 300 bowling ring? want to make sure the Rock didn't give it away. Oh, man, did the Rock take my ring? That's around here somewhere. Are you sure? Yeah. It's around here somewhere. Oof. H-bomb. H-bomb. Wait, you didn't pin him over the, with the H-bomb? He's going to do uh, torpedo. Uh, I'm Elf says, it's Jade, the obvious bet for Queen of the Ring. J uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how quickly they're going to get her into single stuff. There you go. Dragon. That was of... quick. Decisive. There you go, Ilya with the win. Adam Beveridge says, do you think we could get the title swapped at the draft, keeping Ro Cody on Raw and sending Judgment Day with their belts to SmackDown? Always possible. Because then you can get to Rhea versus Bianca at some point. Yeah. Assuming Bianca stays. I kind of feel like Stratton would be a good pick for uh, Money in the Bank. For Money in the Bank or Queen of the yeah. Ring? Yeah, I think for Money in the Bank, Stratton would be a top, top notch briefcase holder. All right, recap. I'll be right back and I use the restroom. All right. Uh, Ray here says Do you think Triple H cares more about King of the Ring than Redacted did? Vince used to give it to someone, then forget they existed almost immediately after. I, you know, it, I wonder if some of that's just Vince wasn't good at follow through. It seems like Triple H is only going to have someone win it that, and, and have a plan for it afterwards. Uh, Maggie says they're about to pull double time with speed matches to catch up. Double the content, baby. There we go. They can repurpose it too. They did the Judgment Day meme with Punk. That was funny. Oh, I just noticed Priest didn't have the any of the flux capacitor on his chest for that gear. Oh, there's Drew McIntyre looking grumpy. Man, look at that suit. Off the chart suit there from Damian Priest. If you believe yours is, is the only way. way. Oh, they're saying 16000 for stand delivery. Stand and deliver. You are a fool who lives to uh, die. What? This uh, Trey Davis super chat here? I did not. He uh, said, King Booker was the last true king of the ring. King Woods was. 
Yes. Until well, Roman I guess it depends stomped on his saying, crown. It was the last one that you appreciated. I don't know. I, I liked Woods. I did, He too. really wanted it. He really wanted that thing. Yeah, yeah he wanted and, to make something. And then Bloodline stomped all over that thing. Quite rude. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Tokyo Vice. I'm still like, it's literally been like since that show came out that I started watching it. When did Only that come on, out? Hold on, let me check. Tokyo Vice. Uh, April. Okay, so it's been two years now. Oh. And I haven't gotten through the first nine episodes. <laughs> I've never but started like, Breaking Bad, Steve. And that came out a decade ago, at least. No, no, no. I know. But, like, I started it. Oh, yeah. I've and up never to, started. like, I'm on, like, episode six or something. Gotcha. Uh, Wobble Pop TV with the raid. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Luis says, Balor isn't dressed in his usual Judgment Day garments. I think something might be up. He had the Damian Priest Championship shirt on. Oh yeah, I think he's I think he's fine. Hello, Wobble Pop TV. Thank you for the raid. Thank you very Welcome. much. Welcome. Welcome. If you believe. Uh Die Hard Homer says also thanks Steve for your lyrics to Cody's theme. I just sort of mumble through it saying Cody's name until the woe. I think I don't think you're a lot of people that. do that. Yeah. Adrenaline, inner soul, holy shit, there's Cody Rhodes. Um, um, Again. Crowd is here. About to blow, wait for me to start the show. Lights go out, curtains up, I'm home. Go ahead, Steve. Whoa! I don't know anything else. Uh, Wobble Pop here says, you're welcome. Great content, guys. Hope everything goes well. Thank you so much. We're doing all right. Doing all right. Oh, wow. Derek Somnus says, if you get the chance, check out Alter Bridge in concert. Can I just show up for the Judgment Day theme song, The Other Side? And then and then maybe You don't want Metalingus? Do Metalingus. I'd check that out. Yeah. Can they do a block of wrestling songs? I pay like a proportionate amount of a ticket to see them. I know exactly what time those songs are going to be played. Ideally, and then back to back, out of the way. Get the fuck out. Yeah, block them. You, get, them, you exactly. just show up for the encore, you know? Yeah. Dustin here, Dustin Russell, not to be confused with Dustin Runnels, says, uh, Power Rank, what The Rock could have given Cody. Uh, someone in chat speculated it could have been Dusty's Hall of Fame ring or something like that. Uh, oh, that's good. Why would, would The Rock they... have it? Yeah, why would The Rock have it? Um, a, something, something something dusty gave rock's dad a butt plug <laughs> all right hey rocky put this uh, in the butt <laughs> b man's here says hey friend i was just tuning in now what what have i missed a really long promo off between cody and the rock that was pretty good the first hour is pretty much the first 45 uh, minutes were pretty much dedicated entirely to cody rose yes um, Scooter says, uh, Peabody Noms coming in two weeks on Tuesday and Thursday. Luis here says, also another wrestler who turned heel upgraded their theme by slowing it down was Neville. My heart, die hard Homer says, Rock gave Cody a glizzy. <laughs> really tiny yeah, there glizzy. There you go. A cocktail glizzy, huh? Yeah. Black Mega Man says, The Rock gave him MJF's dynamite ring. Oh, there you go. Oh, are they going to introduce Damien? Looks that way. American Taco says, random food question for you, Fredos. What is the ideal lean fat ratio for a burger? Do you like the 80-20, 85-15? Oh, more fat, the better, dude. That's where the flavor is. Give me 93-7, though. I could eat a burger with a clear conscience.
Eat, sleep, breathe. Eat, sleep, beef. Alto says, I mosh and wrecked my shit when Kill Switch and Gage played this fire live at Aftershock. Is that the one that Punk used to have as his thing? I think so, yeah. Do you, what did he say? He shit himself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they play it in the brown note? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the brown note version of this fire. <laughs> this fire. Or the 472 hertz or whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Dom. What the heck is Dom doing? <laughs> uh oh, someone getting the boot. That's new. Oh man! Uh, Adam that, Beverage that purple says, arrow Alt bolt just hit somebody. I've seen Alter Bridge live. They seem to know Metalingus is their best known song. and tend to end on it. They didn't play other side though. This is a new theme for him. I can never tell, to be honest. It sounds with you. like a new theme. I know he is. This is a new theme for him. <laughs> Yeah, it is. That suit's got it's got strong vampire vibes too. Oh yeah. What if he starts talking like a uh, Count Chocula? Like he's uh, all da rise for Damien, Damien the Relentless. <laughs> <laughs> all rise for Dominic. Damien. <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> oh fiend. <laughs> I wore a red suit, not purple. All right, who's this familiar? Is it JD? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thousand percent. <clears throat> Why don't I get a video package? <laughs> Damien wants one. What, is he the Baron now? <laughs> yeah. Where's my fucking video package? <laughs> you still have to watch uh, episode I seven. Know, this I know, I know. Gosh darn it, so good, Steve. Yoshi asks, who's the energy vampire? I guess that'd be JD. Oh, as well. that's JD also, yeah.
The Terror Twins. I came up with it. Put your ones up, Steve. Oh, that's our truth. Ah. Is this going to be another hour-long segment? It's looking that way. <laughs> oh, man. John Cena stick around. Commercial. I'll go to commercial. Here comes all the commercials now. All the commercials. All the commercials. All the commercials. Metal Nerve says, was Jimmy an Attitude Era thing? No, Jimmy was a like PG Era thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. 
uh, Code like Diesel says Truth, Truth, Miz, and Priest all in red. Oh, Luis says uh, Miz is 100% the energy vampire here. Can make oh, that well, case. I, the Miz is fine. I, JD is much more of an energy vampire than Miz. Although he's a better wrestler. Are you going to watch Ricky Stanicki? I don't know. I don't really watch it's a whole It's pretty funny. Uh, Shane's birthday tweet says, wouldn't Jericho be the energy vampire? Yes, if he were a WB. Yes, he is an a a w a w In the world of wrestling, yes, he is. For sure, energy vampire. <laughs> Colin Robinson. Colin Robinson. Uh, Jorge here says, uh, let's say Triple H calls Chugs to come back, but Chugs says he needs to bring along the kingdom. How does Triple H react? Kingdom! Um, <laughs> kingdom! So I'm reading, uh, I've been reading some of the comments from our uh, star ratings today. Oh. And I really feel like this is the first star ratings where people are fucking arguing about them. <laughs> like, I, we're it. so... We're so close to becoming the uh, the other guy. We've made it. I think we have. Listen to this. Hardly Quinn says, so basically a few shills suggest Stone Cold might be there. You guys spread fake rumor that Stone Cold might be there. Then despite epic cameos from some of the biggest names in the history of the industry with actual storyline rationale, you deduct points because they didn't give you the fake rumor you helped spread. That's the worst. Regardless There's a lot wrong there. <laughs> we didn't spread any rumors about Stone Cold being there. I don't know if you actually mentioned it on the show a whole <laughs> he lot. He didn't even mention all. Stone Cold. We didn't. I didn't. The word, the name Stone Cold didn't come out of my mouth during that whole video. At all. Yeah. Well, I honestly had no expectation that Stone Cold was going to be there. I think like in jest, I said, in jest, I said, no, in the lead up, I know we talked about like, oh, what's the, like we talked about Stone yeah, yeah. Cold being there. It's not like, oh, we've heard that Stone Cold's going to be there. We no, didn't, we yeah, I don't think, I don't think we said that. No, we um, never said that. But, uh, or maybe we did, I don't know. Anyways. There was reports that they were asking, inquiring with Cena and Taker and Stone Cold about being involved. We talked about that and what role that could be. Mm -hmm, yeah. That's the extent of it. Yeah. Uh, Aussie says your star ratings might get to other guidelines levels. You bring more glizzies and bucks some wrestler wives. <laughs> but, uh, that was the best. It was bucks uh. and wife. I responded. It's just one man's opinion. Me. I am that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I noticed that like a bunch of people. You didn't give the main event five stars. Well then a five star match. God. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. My goodness. We are those other guys. Uh, IML says, who's the most normal bartender Jackie Daytona out of wrestlers? Jackie Daytona. You really are the most devious bastard in all of New York City. I can't do that. Uh, Jorge here says, was it a coincidence that Tony Khan announced releasing the Wembley footage after going and Raw announced no more collision reviews? I wonder if it's a coincidence that he announced that he's going to release the all-in footage after Larson said he should release the all-in footage. Now that one I said in jest. <laughs> Apparently he missed that part. I guess so. Like Will you know, Washington watches our show or something. It was like, sometimes hey, Tony, people hear, I hear what they want to hear, I guess, you know. You know, Meltzer and, and Alvarez were saying that he would considered doing it in the past, so I'm sure it has nothing to do with anything I said. I don't know, man. I still have a hard time believing anybody who pays attention to anything we said. It was Ever literally said days said. after you said, hey, you know, they should do As this. I say it, leaning into the camera, the smile on my face. You literally said, I'm just joking and I want to make you laugh by saying this. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Husker B-Ball says Ricky Stenicki was top tier dumb comedy. I loved it. Solid Dante says Ricky Stenicki is actually funny and has surprising heartwarming bit that really makes it a good movie. Uh, it's cool, bro. Oh, making the clips joke here. 
caught up here. Champ Fear and Lotus says, you know what grinds my gears? Star rating crybabies. Oh, wow. Wow. Really grinds my gears. Uh, Blake Whitehouse says, what led to you guys choosing NXT over TNA? The people chose. We had no part in it. The friendos chose. Yeah. We put up to a vote. Well, we didn't include TNA in the vote, though. I don't think it would change much. Um, like NXT's ratings are like six times what TNA's are. Yeah. TNA doesn't have Scott Demore. I'm not sure if they're going to last a year. Uh, yeah. and I hope I'm wrong about that, but like, I don't know. I feel like he was kind of an important part of the product. And, um, so I don't see it getting any better. Uh, even when we watched it before, it was like, I don't know, just sometimes kind of redundant week to they week. They missed a lot once they, uh, once Honor No More left. That's true, too. That's kind uh, of primary TNA for us. But yeah, but, man, it's, uh, it's, you know, like the, like NXT's ratings are what, only like 20% lower than AEW's? The Dynamite's, yeah. And it'll be interesting to see if, the increased viewership exposure will boost that once they go with CW. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, you know, when we talk about ratings, just a matter of like, okay, what is the potential audience there for it? Mm -hmm. Because if we're going to take our time and watch something, take notes for something and then review something, you know, it's got to be worth something. And like, it didn't feel like collision was adding us. a lot to the Monday episode. That's carried by news and SmackDown predominantly. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, if collision was still like what they had I think intended it to be in the first place, like we'd probably still be doing it. But like, yeah. it's, it's clear Dynamite, Dynamite is the only place that like story beats that really matter and end up, you know, affecting pay per views. That's where they yeah. go. The uh, scooter here says Ricky Stanicki has a forty-one percent of Rotten Tomatoes. But what do the people think? Yeah, what's the pe- the people score, though? Uh, Black Mega Man says, Larson, another commercial already. Uh, Larson, if Tony said he's going to show the footage of Steve Bowling 300, uh, would you watch Rampage? I want to see how good the AI is. I was like the Sora AI thing? Yeah, the, this, this purported footage of you bowling 300, because it's yeah. going to be some sort of AI-derived footage. Like Sora, it's not yeah, real. it's like, you know, yeah. Like it's I have deep like, faked. I have like seven fingers going into the ball, but going like the, into the three holes. Yeah, the fingers are like melded to the ball. Also, and then they 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 encircle the entire ball as you make your approach. And the ball is sort of like it's like it's like swirling. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you're usually marbled. The the bowling balls are, but this yeah. one's marbled with your flesh. It looks like yeah, it looks like fleshy oil. <laughs> you. Oh, man. Uh, Jack Barris says, one great thing under Triple H is Miz doing well as a baby face that the crowd gets behind. Oh, man. Thwacky here says, Triple H major announcement. I am now the new owner of TNA. <laughs> White Brownie says, I miss when Steve used to call us yokels. How oh, often did yokels, he refer yeah. to, to everybody as yokels? I, every once in a while I would, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Then I have to apologize for it immediately. I'm about to call these uh, commenters in our star rating video yokels. Listen, yokels, yeah. you want you want star ratings? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and make them? Well, well, give me some more of these comments. Oh yeah, Curious. okay. Because we're on the champ here in Lowe's says Roman was in the best shape of his life this weekend. What comfort food did he get after losing to Cody? Oh, good question. Um, ice cream, huge milkshake. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Dreville here says, what's good, friendos? And I got a question. Why does JD's head look like it outgrew his body? Oh, so the same guy. I was just looking at like the comments, and I was like, oh, wow. The same guy also posted this. Cody versus... So he posted that long one. I'm trying to see what happened first. Uh, I haven't responded. I have responded. So 54 minutes ago, he posted the one that I talked about. And prior to that, an hour ago, he posted a different one. 
Cody versus Roman is five stars. Like it's I'm only he's only a quarter of a star off. Yeah. I said four and three quarters. Yeah, I said four and a half. I'm, yeah. Stiff between Cody and Roman was fantastic. Best match of Roman's title reign. Oh, I disagree with that. Yeah, I don't agree with that. And then on top of all that, the other stuff on top and story beats and subtle nods and callbacks, five stars, just an automatic best match of the night. The Austin begging is kind of stupid. Uh, Ronnie Wells says five stars for Bailey Sky, five stars for the main event. Simple as that. Okay. Uh, at, least, at least that individual is rude about it. Phoenix Down says agreed until the main event. I'd give that a solid five stars. I was close. I was actually close to giving it five stars. Yeah. I was close to giving it five stars. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Perfect. Good one. Perfect. This is what I want. BSO says, I'm sorry. These are just as big of a joke as Dave's ratings, Larson. Oh, this, we're on par. We're the That's same. It. That's it. We've made it. Oh, wow. He says, if AEW did the same match with their star and told just an okay story, it would have been five plus stars. <laughs> See, if yeah. AEW did the same match, I would have given it like three. That's I'm yeah. the I'm the opposite. Steve's the opposite. Steve's <laughs> the e-drone here. I overrate the, the WWE matches. Uh, White Brownie here says, Larson, if Tony Khan bought the A's, would you watch Rampage? Would he keep him in Oakland? If so, maybe. I'd watch one episode of Rampage to show appreciation for Tony Khan keeping the A's in Oakland. Uh, New Breed Stream says, what's y'all's best Roman title match? Uh, The eye-opener ones were the two with Jay early on. Wait, what's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Those were good. The Hell in a Cell match was good, and the ending was just captivating. Sammy match was was really good. Um, the Owens matches were good. Wait, what did I what did I give the main event? Did I give it four and three quarters? I give it four and a half. Four and a half. Oh, I gave it four and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We agreed on that one. There he is. There's John Felix Anthony Cena. There he is. I feel like he should have shown up during the intro, though. Why would he? Yeah, why would he? Why would he? Like when he said, you can't see him, and everybody's like starting to chant him, just bring him out. Was the actual idea that, that R-Truth was, was thinking it was little Jimmy? And then now Cena's like, well, I'm, I'm a guy that purports to can't be, it can't be seen. <laughs> He's so dorky. Oh, I thought he was going to hit a suicide dive on Dom out there. <laughs> no, you get five moves. And we've seen three of them. Oh, here we go. All just fan service. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lou, I will not have any slander for any bald spots in our chat today. (laughs) Oh. Wow. The night after Priest wins the title. That's how they do Judgment Day, huh? Yeah, uh, Champs here in Lothen here says, Larson, if Steve came over to watch Mania, what food do you prepare for him? What refreshments? And will you provide edibles? This is what I would do. If we weren't working. We were just watching WrestleMania casually to have fun. Get fucked up. I make a tri-tip. Okay. I got a tri-tip method. It works like a charm every time. Okay. Make a tri-tip. Um, my wife makes these really good. You call them smash potatoes. Mm-hmm. They're awesome. Mm-hmm. Make those. Mm-hmm. They're fantastic. And they're simple. Nothing complicated. But they're so good. Uh, I got a, a bunch of beer, both with booze and sans booze in the mini fridge. And, uh, you know, if we want some edibles around, I'd have them around. Sure, why not? Let's do it. 
Uh, Black right. Mega Man says the fact that even super rich guys can't get that bald spot fixed, that means no hope for the rest of us. Al Contrer, John Cena is such a confident person. He does not care about getting that fixed. But for a relatively low price, you can actually get a trip to Turkey where they will uh, fix your bald spot. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that's the place to get it done. Yeah, you told me about that. Mm hmm. Uh, Aussie says, so I guess the new era of the WWE is the ruthless aggression era. The new what now? New era. Don Amigo says, incredible. Steve is doing a going in raw live and a raw match at the same time. What a workhorse. Wow. Uh, Ray here says, Cena helping the team who beat him up after the match at Hell in the Cell 2011. Long-term storytelling. Oh. Champion Loden says Braun Strowman is getting his hair fixed now. Did he post some vacation pictures from Turkey? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. Yeah, he did. It, I, I don't know if it was Turkey or what, but like he did not. I thought I told you it was not that. It was a couple months ago. Interesting. Oh, here we go. We get our segment with Bronson and the trophy. Yeah, that's why you lose all the time. Maybe change that. I'll be going about it all wrong. <laughs> well, it's not you, buddy. Sorry, um, Bronson. It's not going to be you, pal. I am Elves says, I have a friend that did the trip to Turkey and said it was far more affordable with travel included than doing it in the States, and it looks good. Wow. Yeah, All dude. Right. It's the thing to do. Would you ever consider that, Steve? Um, if I was more bald than I am, yeah, I would consider it because I don't think I would look good with like, like you look good when you like cut, when you do your hair really, really close. I don't have like a decent looking bald head or like shaped head. So if, if my hair got like significantly worse than it is now, but I'm cool with my hair now. Uh, Cody here says, why does the trophy look worse every year? That's a good question. Shit, there was an Uncle Howdy tease? Oh, I saw a little blip when uh, Ooh. Bronson was talking, yeah. Ooh. I'll use the restroom real quick here. Oh, I'm here to break people. Turkey teeth is also a thing? Like you get, like you get your teeth done in Turkey, too? <clears throat> Curious corduroy says, I've heard the aftermath of the transplant looks gnarly. Yeah, it's scar. I think it's scars. And then you have to, like, you do have to give it time, from what I understand. I just remember when um, Ollie got it done on Wrestle Talk, there was that in between bit. But now it looks amazing on him. Like, if you see Ollie, I don't know if he got it done in Turkey or not. Turkey teeth are terrible. They're essentially destroying your existing ones and replacing them with fakes. Ooh. Oh, is that okay? So it's like the... Um... Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm cool with my teeth. I need to go to the dentist, though. It's been a little while. I might get them whitened. The thing about Ollie, though, is that I think he actually had a really good-looking bald head. I thought he was like sort of the kind of guy that actually looked pretty good bald, but he looks his hair looks amazing. A lot of people have to do more than one session. Oh yeah. They got an in arena howdy teaser. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the social oh, media man. and take a look at this. Oh man! USA Network uh, listening to our conversations. Oh shit! Oh, what was? Oh, Bosley Holly. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <whistles> do 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 do. Oh, we're so close to getting to two hundred one thousand one hundred two. Just. Oh, where are we right now? 24 away. 
Is that right? We're only 24, 24 away. I think so, yeah. Yeah, 20, 24 away. All right, well, it's worth it to say then because we've got 943 people watching. Listen, everybody. Listen. We have, we have got a goal here going in Raw to reach the subscription goal on YouTube specifically of 201,102 subscribers. If you haven't already, if you haven't done this, help us get there. Hit the subscribe button and the notify bell so that you're always notified when we go live or have a video upload here on YouTube. And, you know, we had said we're hoping to get to that goal by WrestleMania. Well, it's the Raw after Mania. It's still technically Mania season. Good enough. Trying to get to 201, 102. It'd be amazing. We get it by it's 8 p.m. It's got three more. It's got three more. 21 Bang, away. Done. 21 away. American Home Shield. Logo looks the same as 1983. That is a very basic logo. Very basic. Oh, we get a rematch for the tag titles on NXT tomorrow. That shit, yeah. That's 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 where it's going to be. Now, Axiom and Nathan Frazier just need to hold those titles for the rest of the year and they get one prediction right. Hey, there you go. Uh, is, Mr. It, American is it Junior Taco. so we can do our predictions so far video? Oh, almost. Mr. American Taco says, heard Adam Pierce teased a potential return or a new guy showing up on Raw tonight. We well, said anybody could show up. Oh, wow. Ooh. He's getting Dom to fight Andrade. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? Oh, it was a live. Threw a chair at her head. Get the fuck out of here, Liv, throwing chairs at people's heads. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, there we go. Candace and Indy. Ooh, are they going to jump the barricade? Nope. Oh, going to go that way. <laughs> there we go. Hey, they're oh, trying something new. They're trying something new. Uh, Champ Fear and Loathen says, who should go to Turkey if they start losing their hair? Seth, Chugs, Ricky Starks, Drew McIntyre, and Nick Jackson. I feel like character-wise it would work for Nick Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'll see. This actually makes sense. Because when Roxanne had to give the title, Indy won in that ladder match. All right. So is there an alteration on the channel point bet that we can do? I mean, over under... Uh... Time? Yeah, this over under on time, I suppose. Four to seven? You know, well either six and a half or seven and a half. Six and a half? Either have faith that they're gonna let the women go long or be cynical and think I they're gonna I feel like with this. The, the all the commercial breaks they're gonna kinda keep this bang bang bang. There's the bell, everybody. All right, make this for one minute, everybody. One minute, everybody. Six minutes, 30 seconds, match length, over or under. Oh, wow. Rude Roxanne. Oh, did anybody start a timer? I didn't. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I just well, never mind. I was going to cancel this. Yeah, cancel accurate. that bet. Don't make any sense now. <laughs> hmm. 
I was going to bet the under, too. Uh, Thwacky here says, Triple H fan at you guys reviewing NXT again, so he's prepping you guys with all these NXT talent. Listen, guys. Uh, oh, that's actually really impressive. She's about to body slam her on, on a knee. Listen, uh, I'm, gra- I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Heartbreak is happy that you guys are uh, doing NXT again. Uh, heartbreak. Have you been watching Speed? No. I should say, I, did you watch the first? I think there's only been one so far. Yeah, I think there's been one. Ricochet versus uh, somebody. They're doing a tournament to crown the first speed champion. I know. I want to see the speed title. Yeah. Uh, Wowa here says, of course, I predicted Ilya and Roxanne to lose a stand delivered because I figured they'd show up tonight. At least I was right about tonight. Oof. Oh, White Brownie says there have been two episodes of Speed. So fast, one slipped past you, Steve. Oh, my goodness gracious. There you go, Candace. There you go, Candace. Indy, get on her, man. Oh, come on, oh, idiot. Indy, what are you doing? There you go. Pop rocks. Pop rocks. See, the underwood got it. Champ says the oh, speed belt should have Keanu Reeves driving a bus on it. There we go. Cody has a good idea. Over under 1.5 commercial breaks. That there way you don't have to keep time. Just count how many commercial breaks there are during the match. Mm-hmm. I'm down. Gregus says there's a tweet uh, with a guy. Uh, I've seen these on TikTok with Roman Reigns gear on, starting to get mad at the Mania finish. I've seen two of those. I've seen one guy who gets just really sad and another guy who throws his chair. Wow. They're like Just recording rest- their reactions. Well, you know, they probably have other things going on in their lives. That could be. Uh, I'm just trying to do something. Says I would have voted for a WB speed review over collision <laughs> one if I had the option. Well, you know, if they do it again, they keep doing it. See if I could do. We could do a speed review in less time it took for the match. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> that was my favorite enforcer's whoop! Was when it was a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> and like when we weren't expecting it, and you just you know you see somebody kiss, you think nothing of it, then you hear enforcer whoop-a. under his breath, whoop! I know. <laughs> whoop! <laughs> All right. Oh. So Husker B-Ball says uh, Sean tweeted the word Sean. Hello. <laughs> was in the bottom corner of the glitch during Bronson's promo. All right, there we go. Look at this guy. Yeet. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. Does this ever happen to you on the, the, the stream here? Not our stream, the Xfinity stream, where your audio gets out of sync when watching Raw? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's why I can't wait for Netflix. It's little shit like that. Yeah. Like, I got to always jump through a hoop here and there. Like sometimes when I port it to the TV, like it's kind of, you know, pixely. I could deal with a lot. Of, I could deal with some pixels. I just want my audio in sync. All right, Patty Swan says, yes, Larson, every goddamn show. 
watching Raw is the only thing I notice it on. When I do, when I watch Dynamite. Never an issue. Is your audio in sync for Dynamite, Steve? Um, yeah, but I think I usually do Dynamite a slightly different way through like the TBS app on my app on my phone, uh, and then sometimes I'll either do that or I will watch it on my DVR like at nine o'clock at night or yeah, uh, yeah, ten yeah. o'clock at night, uh, and and fast forward through all the commercials and a lot of the matches and promos. Yeah, that's mostly stuff. how I ingest my Dynamite. But sometimes I'll try to catch like the last half hour live on the east coast feed and then i i appreciate the AEW does this and it works out for me because like right after dynamite ends they'll post on their youtube channel like the longer promo talkie bits so um, that i could transcribe those make do the notes for those but you know what you should that, do dynamite starts what what should i do record dynamite on obs dump it into premiere and hit the transcribe button Remember I told you I was editing those uh, episodes of that vulgar cartoon for my child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just record it, I dump it in Premiere. Uh, I have it transcribed, takes a couple minutes, and then I type in the word fuck, and then I know where to put the bleeps. How accurate is the, are the transcriptions? Pretty darn. Like, I yeah. still, I still because it's only 25 minutes, I'll still listen to the whole thing yeah, yeah. and make sure that I got everything. Yeah. But, uh, but the transcriptions are really accurate. Mm. That's something to consider. Ugh. Yeet. Yeah, <laughs> yeet. Future La Futura. Ex chair. Former chair. Yeah, it used to be a chair. <laughs> what are all those buttons on the back there? What is that? Cool know. level. The power button. What do you need to power up your chair for? You just <laughs> set your ass on it. It's a. <laughs> What are those glass? Oh, he's watching a guy in a chair. Yeet. Yeet. $20 a month for Wait, two months, on. I hope. Do you have to subscribe to X chair? <laughs> yeet. No, that's no yeet. No yeet. I wouldn't subscribe to chair. Wait, I want to watch the show that he's watching of other people in chairs. <laughs> he's like, I am the master chairman. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> that dude was watching the most fascinating shit. He was like, man, chair after mania is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Cody says that chair's over a thousand dollars. What the yeah. fuck? You basically are subscribed to chair at that point. Oh my God. No, oh, that's no yeet, Steve. I don't care if it, if, if it, it exclusively comes with chair after mania. I don't no. want it. Too expensive. Gosh, oh, that was hilarious. Me. Jeez Louise. No yeet. No yeet. Uh, Ray here says that might be Uncle Howdy. This is the same arena Bray returned to at Extreme Rules 2022. Was that in Philadelphia? What's our main event tonight? Do we know? Is a sp oh, we, yeah, it's the, the four-way for the, the number one contendership. That's the main event. I think so. Bronson, Ricochet, and who? Yeet! Yeet! My career promo. Oh, I thought he was going to chuck the Intercontinental title to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to Sorry, he's going to yeet. He's going to yeet it. Uh, Scooter here says, I mentioned that has been hotel is pro LGBT, which is a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, yeah, it is. It's super. It's just vulgar. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's vulgar. 
There was actually one episode I was like, hey, kiddo, I can't even cut this down. Because <laughs> there was like, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a bit more in vulgar. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, I was like, you just got to take the L in this one. Can't watch that one. Like the central premise is not inherently like vulgar. It's like the child of Satan in hell is opening up a rehab like a, a hotel in hell to try to uh, redeem like sinners. Mm. And uh, mm. and so like when it when it's episodes that focus on like just the plot. Yeah. Like it's actually it's actually fairly easy to cut. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, there was one episode where one of the characters uh, was just doing way too much. And I was like, yeah, I got to cut this stuff. Or I was like, I imagine when they're trying to rehabilitate to sinners, depending on the nature of the sin, it could get a bit overboard. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Sammy's face looks a little beat up. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Bark. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfman. <laughs> your your barking cat's back there going, Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. She's like, get X chair. Hey, enough, dude. The devil. Yeah. He pretty much did the same uh, promo beat there that Cody did with Roman. Oh, and only 19 subs away from reaching our goal, Steve. 19. Oh, man. Guys, just hit the subscribe button. Just don't hit it. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, not Chad Gable. Oh, no. Oh, Imperium helped him out. It's the two losers. Gentlemen, do you want a new tag match now? Yeah. 
Gray Imperium. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> uh. Wow, S eight says Gunther had one hundred and five defenses in six hundred and sixty six days. That's crazy. That is nuts. Gosh, this guy. Oh, man. The tag match. <laughs> oh, Judgment Day, Chad Gable. Mm -hmm. Duh. Oh, you got to stop doing this comedic stuff, Chad. Oh, uh, he's seriously. doing the shoe stuff? Oh, come on. Gable's musculature really is impressive. Oh, yeah, the striation of his muscle and the vascularity Dude, is off the fucking charts. outrageous. Keeps doing that shoe stuff. Guess what? Depth guy. Depth guy. Jimmy Thomas says, will Gable turn on Sammy, yay or nay? He's got to do something. What he's doing now is just not it. It's not it. Oh, ah. Oh. 18 what? away. Just 18 away. 18 away? Oh, my gosh. Yeet. Come on. Let's get it going, everybody. Humble85 <laughs> says this Raw's a little weak. Yeah, I, I like the opening segment. I know it was long, but like I liked it. But, yeah, otherwise, kind of a, kind of a mid-level. Not as bad as last year's, obviously. No. The channel point prediction is, does Gable turn on Sammy? They should do this from now on. What? Skip the Monday after WrestleMania. Everybody gets a day off. Two-day uh, affair. Skip it. Expectations are too high. Yeah, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Do it like a recap episode of like what happened since the last WrestleMania up until what just happened. There we go. Yeah, Joe here says, Joe B1 Kenobi says, Night One Raw. Next week. Night one. Oh, yeah, like a season premiere. A new season, a new era of Raw begin. Every year, a new era begins. Uh, Champ Fear and Loden says, uh, Dr. Tobias Funke <laughs> wears more in the shower than Kaiser in the ring. Duh. <laughs> Double O27 says, I hate recap shows. <laughs> I can't clip shows. That oh, I can't dumb. stand clip shows. You either. sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you sound uh, dumb for Nick, not liking my shit <laughs> Nick Myero asks what's the best Raw After Mania you can remember the first one that pops in my head is the Raw After Mania 14 Get X-Pac New Age yeah, I was lost awesome, doing a yeah. DX I was joking by the way when I said recap episode everybody's like you're an idiot duh, duh. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys are too much grumpy gooses in here that pizza looked good though you having some glizzies for dinner tonight? No, I'm glizzied out, man. Yeah. When are we going to a River Cat game? Lit up on glizzies. Oh, man, I don't know. Um, I don't know. When does the season start? It's already started, I think. I don't know about the River Cats. They start a little later than the, than the major leaguers. Start a little later and sooner. Okay. 
Well, wait till the weather warms up a little bit more. Yeah, it's right. cold in the evening out there. Let's, let's go. We'll wait till it's 106 outside and go. There we go. Load up on glizzies. Get Load the meat sweats. Glizzies. <laughs> Glizzy sweats in the 106 degree heat. Oh, here we go. B Man says, What's the best NXT after takeover? They did clip shows. <laughs> Fallout. Ooh. They did a shit ton of clip shows for a they while. They did, yeah. Bree says, My glizzies from last night were popping. Let's see, when does the River Cat season start? I wonder when the A's move to Sacramento for a couple seasons if they're going to keep uh, the River Cat ticket prices. <laughs> That'd be ideal. $14 sitting in the outfield. Yeah. Max well, they got game, says, make they sure got you game tonight, dude tomorrow, wipes. sorry. Well, I can already get, already get priority access for the 20, 25 season. Oh, this is cool. Michael mm -hmm. Buffer tweeted out like a long tweet about how great Samantha Irvin is. Oh, wow. The tweet says, ring announcer Samantha Irvin ruled WrestleMania last night, and her emotional final announcement was awesome. She was featured on camera ring center. That was smart production move, and she was just brilliant. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. I wonder what the promotional. Oh, they go to a Dorado's game. Eat. Oh, yes. Promotions calendar. Here we go. Oh, Seamus. Oh, Bree says y'all streaming Backlash. Isn't Backlash just at like nine in the morning or something like that? Yeah, I think so. So tomorrow night, they're doing a Dorado's game. It's family. Two, oh, it's $2 hot dogs tomorrow. I think usually it's Tuesday. It's the $2 hot dogs. All so right. we're going to have to wait till the trivia season's over. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. So that's fine. That's by the time the weather will be. Because that's end of, end of May-ish. Oh, we got a Seamus video package. I guess it's coming back soon. It's coming back, baby. Duh. <laughs> uh, Shane's birthday tweet says, as someone who went to a Raw after Mania after doing the whole weekend of SmackDown, I was a zombie for that Raw. We were too after Mania 33. We were exhausted. For that yeah. Raw after yeah. Mania. That was a decent one. We had that bit with Roman after he beat Undertaker. Revival got called up. Um, Say that was, yeah. That was also Beach Ball Mania. I'm not a fan of that one. Oh, yeah. All right, there's plenty of Tuesday games. Well, yeah, once at... Uh... Once it gets like warmer, like a June, late May, something like that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Or it gets warm, but not too hot. Mm -hmm. At least stays above seventy in the evening. Oh, that was a hell of a crossbody. Jeez. Ouch. Sudden impact. The devil. Less than an hour left, everybody. If we get to 201, 102, we'll keep going for 24 more hours. Shut the fuck Duh. up. Duh. Duh. <laughs> yeet. No yeet. No yeet on a 24 hour stream. I'm up 17 away. Oh, man. Uh, Luis says, um, so I'm guessing no A's games for Ole Larson and West Sacramento. If they keep River Cat prices and they're playing against teams, I want to see beat the A's, and I'm, I might go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, that's a spread. Thank you so much. That looks super professional. Look at this plate. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Salmon and a thing of rice. Nice, dude. Grilled zucchini. It looks good, man. May, may, go, go, go. It smells delicious, too. 
my goodness. Mm. Oh, man, listen to this. Fragile Phil is the embarrassment of Chicago. Weird how this pod was critical of him until he went back to WWE. Guess that's where their integrity lies. Are we ever going to do the uh, reacting to negative comment video for Friend of Yeah, Club? dude. I need to. Uh, I need to compile those. Luis here hit got it right and said so. John Fisher said that you can watch Aaron Judge and all the Major League Baseball superstars hit home runs against my team. He did in the press conference. He says fans can come and see all the amazing players of Major League Baseball. Dom he to say dominate our team, but that was the subtext, you know. Oh oh yeah, 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 yeah. What a chump that guy is. Now that I've divorced myself from my A's fandom, they're just another team for me. So it was just that easy. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it it was. It has been so far. Bree says, please do. I see so many out of pocket comments that need roasting. Bree, if you ever see those, if you're looking through them and you see them, or any of the mods or anybody out there, just like copy paste and send them to me. Because we're going to do uh, a video uh, uh, roasting some rude comments. I meant to get a channel play prediction up. I suppose I still could. Just Gable turn on Sam. You'll get it up one minute. What would this, this commercial break? Uh, Matt from Assembles here says uh, AAA hey, said in the press conference, more production change is coming. What do you think they'll do and what do you want to see? I still like that idea of uh, the single shot raw. No cuts. Yeah, no cuts. Let's do the entire thing one shot with a drone. Oh, not the drone. Because they don't have the best quality uh, camera on the drone. Always looks get a be, get get a, get the best quality. Oh, okay. You want the uh, get the eight K camera on the drone? Yeah. And like commentary, everybody a commentary sitting on X chair. There we go. Watching chair after mania. They all subscribe to X chair. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Uh, B Man here says, "If you were to do a best Mania ah. live stream video, what would be the top three moments you'd pick?" If we were to do what now? Best of Mania live stream video, a super cut. What would be the top three moments you'd pick? Oh well, the Enforcer winning last year. No, I think I think B Man means for this year's. Oh, for this year? Yeah. Cody winning. Uh, EO hopping out of that rose plant. Yeah, that was cool. And, uh... Oh, the brain buster on the top turnbuckle. Oh, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Craig T says, when Raw goes to Netflix, there shouldn't be ads, right? Wrong! There'll be ads still. If you're at got the the higher subscription tier, you wouldn't see them, but I think other tiers are going to. Well, wait a second though. I'm just guessing. Does any programming on Netflix currently have advertisements? Not that I'm aware of, but I have. But I think we have like whatever the premium tier is because I don't want ads. Do they do the thing on Netflix? They do the thing where they have ads on stuff. I don't know, honestly. I've always just had whatever top well, i don't have the top top because the top top you get the 4k streaming right 
on Netflix. I have the huh? top top. Oh, here we yeah, go. Ad su- okay, we so they do have ad supported plans. Okay. Okay. That's seven dollars a month, a, I think. There's no reason for us to get that. Oh wow! So yeah, they do get ads. That's interesting. I've never seen ads on Netflix before. Well, you have the top top. That's why. Premium, premium. It's interesting. Like we've been watching that Shogun show on Hulu, mm-hmm. and Hulu has all sorts of ads. You know, like even mm-hmm. their no ad. Dude, it doesn't it still have ads? Um, yeah, yeah. And knowing full well, watching a Hulu show, I'm going to get a ton of ads. It's still weird in my head watching a show that on the streaming service and getting fed a ton of ads like I'm watching it on TV. It's just something I've had a hard time doing. Yeah, getting. you know, it doesn't bother me that much. Like, I've got uh, yeah, Paramount Plus, even the best tier there, you still get ads. Yeah. Um, and... I don't know. It doesn't, I mean, I don't know. I, it doesn't bother me that much. Like I'm used to, cause you know, I've always had the ads on Hulu Yeah. and I don't know. I just do what I always do is pick up my phone. Ooh, careful. Kaiser. Oh, Jesus. Duh. Um, Mad Native sixty three says, "I have a weird question. Do we all get the same commercials? No, because we're watching this through our local cable provider, right? You're doing through the Xfinity. Yeah, so Stream. we get local ads too. Yeah, we get some national ads, but also local ads. But mm-hmm. I don't know if the national ads are necessarily broadcast nationally or what. If they're regional by, you know. So if we're getting a, a Liberty Mutual commercial, I don't know if you're getting it in Oklahoma or you're getting something else. Mm. I don't know. Liberty Bibbity. The symbol says, is Paramount Plus worth getting? Literally only if you're a Star Trek like nut. Well, if you like uh, Yellowstone, that's where you got to watch it when it goes right, back. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellowstone as well, yeah. But I'm a huge, uh, huge Star Trek fan, so it's great for me. Yeah, Lou, I can't do YouTube. Like, yeah, I, I, I have to get premium. That's that's one thing that I, for some reason, I don't know why it's different for me. YouTube, I can't deal with that, so I got the Shorter I got form, the maybe that's why. That could be. Gallo says, can't you watch Yellowstone on Peacock? Yeah, you can, but there is the is the timed exclusive on uh, on Paramount Plus, I believe. Or it used to be, at least. Oof, that was high angle on Vinci there. Man, there's a giant hunk of salmon here. My goodness. Starry Ray says, what about Pluto and the more Star Trek channel? That's probably the most watched thing in this house because I just have it on all the time. But now they've got a third one and it's only Deep Space Nine. So like that's all, you know, now and, and on top of that, they have this weird Godfather channel. So like I just, you know, I pop that on and just Godfather's on. It's just... Hold on a second. What? Why is Gable coaching Sammy? Sammy already won't beat Gunther. Yeah, the whole thing is backwards. And now Sammy's doing an ankle lock? That's not his forte. I'll be honest with you, this rock kind of sucks, dude. Yeah, it would have been the best. Okay, dude, you're not helping this mid-raw, man. I don't have anything here. Nope. Exploda. Mm. That rice is really good. Oh, there we go. Classic banana milk says Sammy needs to turn on Gable, but it'd be a face move. Yeah, we're all tired of Chad Gable. Look at the ref down there waiting to count the pin.
All right, Chad. No, that's your favor. Favor fulfilled. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like, okay, so now we're good, right? He's like, what? You know, I, I let you tag in, get the win. Favor is good, right? Uh, it's not the favor I was looking for. Uh, the favor I was looking for. I gave you the favor. I want another favor. It's not the favor I wanted. <laughs> you get to choose the favor. Well, the favor is implied. What it is. <laughs> I offered my hand. I gave you the halluva kick. That's the favor. No, you the got favor the is a title shot. That's the favor. You didn't say you wanted a title shot. That's the favor, though. <laughs> I want four weeks of that shit. I know. All right, I guess uh, Gable didn't turn on Sammy. That's a no. I should have specified during the match, but I think that's the. Oh, was that was that a, you did a channel bet yeah. for that? Yeah. Uh, what was the spread? The, the, the 60, 60 something. Oh, 30 wow. Something. Okay. No. Maggie with the super chat says we've had Rhea and a what? Five minute women's match. This is low key feeling like a W light. Not impressed by triple H right now. Hope the next 40 are better. It's like, listen, we got 20,000 people in here. Time to fold it in. Uh, it's been a long weekend. Fine. You guys want a recap show? We'll do that instead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, Drew's in the match. Okay. Yeah, he'll win that. Drew should just get like a straight up rematch. No. Yeet. Jorge asks, who's the George Costanza of wrestling? It's Sami Zayn. It's Sami Zayn, yeah. Excuse me. I've never really seen Ricochet box in the ring, though. I thought Andrade was on SmackDown. What was that about? Oh, draft. I mean, Nia Jax. Uh, Z Zero says, so what surprise do you think is still coming up? Cody's segment seems over. I don't know. Maybe it's something going to happen after Drew wins that main event. Could be. Still going to be like, I'm cleared, y'all. Uh, Louis says, if Sammy's the Costanza, what character is Kevin Owens? Uh, wait, what? If Sammy's Costanza, what character is Kevin Owens? George really didn't have any other friends. Did he? Wait, who's Jerry? I don't know. I kind of feel like Kevin Owens, to a degree, could be has Jerry vibes. Yeah. Like very aware of everything and sort of calls everything out. Who's the Kramer then? Is Randy Orton Kramer? (laughs) 
Jorge says, would that mean uh, Triple H is the George Steinbrenner of wrestling then? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. Oh, George. Oh, Sammy. <laughs> B-Man here says, uh, how much would the 90s basketball been different if DraftKings was still around? It was around then. Sorry. Oh, my God. Half the league would have been suspended. I'll be right back. Oh, dang up Q says, who's Newman? Newman. Hope I drop some. Um, hmm. So we need someone who's Kevin Owens' friend if he's. Sorry, no, Randy Orton's friend if he's Kramer. Kevin Owens can't stand. Chan Fairlone says Otis is Newman and Eddie Dennis is Kramer. That's funny. Um, I guess the real question is, is who's the crazy Joe DiVola of wrestling? Or Bob Sacamana? Who is Banya? <laughs> well, Banya was kind of Jerry's young lion. Has Kevin Owens ever had a young lion? Yeah, Dijak is putty. You got that right, Luis. All right, Lewis, Crazy Joe Devola. B Man, who's the best father son acting duo? Hmm. I've got to think about that one. I mean, you got Kirk Douglas and Michael Douglas. Yeah, Martin Sheen, Charlie Sheen, and Emilio Estevez. Oh, you got uh, Donald and Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, you got Jerry and Ben Stiller. <clears throat> Who else? Oh, you got James Brolin and Josh Brolin. In terms of success, I, I, mean, I guess you maybe have to go with Donald and Kiefer Sutherland's. Yes, Jack Bauer. Someone did say Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, draft three weeks away. Starting out of Friday. Oh, Friday to Monday. Interesting. So SmackDown's getting first pick. Boyd and Jeff Bridges. And Bo Bridges. Don't forget Bo Bridges. Maybe Steve will think of some names that I'm not remembering. Steve got himself a beer. Did I miss anything? No, they just they just came back from commercial break. All right. Who are some uh, father son <gasps> acting duos? Is that a DJ trivia clue? No, B Man asked. Um, who the best was? I mean, we're talking. Uh... I was thinking maybe Donald and Keith for Sutherland might be up there as best they've been wildly successful their entire career true i mean obviously there's the douglases yeah brought them up as well um, the sheens sheens 
The Bridges, Lloyd and Jeff. Yeah, yeah. And Bo. And Bo, yeah. That's what I said, too. Don't forget Bo. Bo's in there. <laughs> oh, somebody that uh, Tom and Colin Hanks, but what about uh, Tom Hanks' other son? Oh, yeah. What's his name? I forgot I his forget. name. Was. I got a mess. Oh, Jade. Oh, Kurt Russell and his, and his kid. Oh, yeah. Heavenly Father. What about uh, uh, Dennis Quaid's son that's in uh, The mm. Boys? Jack Quaid, yeah. Yeah. Chet, that's right. Chet Hanks. That's his name. What a great name. I know. He was oh. doomed to be a weirdo. Yeah. The uh, Stillers, yeah. Carl and Rob Reiner. Yeah. Another short match. I mean, by the time I get the channel point thing up here, it'll be over. Jimmy Thomas says the scars guards. <laughs> Dirty Madsen. Zombie Feast says the Buseys. Ice Cube and O'Shea Jackson. William Regal and Charlie Dempsey. There we go. Pump kick. Here's James and Scott Kahn. Oh, yeah, there you go. I just mentioned Josh and uh, James Brolin. Oh, Brendan Gleason and Domal Gleason. Yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. Blake Whitehouse says, who are the best actor siblings? What are you eating? Oreos? McVitie's Digestive. Oh. Lacey got me a bunch of these today. What about the Maggie and Jake Gyllenhaal? Mm. The Hemsworths? The Batemans? Although I guess Justine doesn't really do much acting anymore, does she? Not really. Triple H was listening to me. Oh, you want to recap? Give me a recap episode. The recap you'll get. Eric and Julia Roberts. I guess the Baldwins. Yeah, the bald ones. Yeah, they're siblings. Luke and Owen Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The Wayans. So he's John just back Joan with Cusick. these guys now. Ha, ha, ha. 
He's doing the thing. He is doing the thing. Oh, he was messing with him. At least Chad Gable's getting all serious now. I know. Oh, sorry, Chad, you're taking that ill. Yeah. And then he'll turn on Sammy. He's going to, yeah, he's going to go heel. That's good. One last little shout with the Alpha <clears throat> Academy. Baby face him up real good. Yep. And then he snaps. Yep. What about the Arquette? What's that? Patricia, Roseanne, David Arquette. Oh, yeah. Solid group of kids. Oh, this guy's pissed. I always forget that Shirley MacLaine and Warren Beatty were siblings. They are? Yeah. Ugh. That's crazy. Duh. Duh. Is this the new Backlash 2018? Yeah, I know. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Oh, we got a promo. Cool. Nah, say horse shit. No lies told there, Drew. Oh, man. <laughs> yeet yeet uh Luis here says is drew in contention for the 2024 player haters hater of the year hate 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 ah oh, that first season of Chappelle show it was so good it was so good come on man that's enough no no more no I got nothing stop it no no. Oh, I'll get this channel point prediction up. So annoying. Mm. 
Oh, we're going to commercial. All right, we'll wait till after commercial. Uh, Shane's birthday tweet. Do we think, uh, as fans, we set ourselves up with the Raws after the big shows and set our ceilings too high for them? I think it's really no. only Raw after Mania. <laughs> no. Honestly, like, this isn't even, like, a decent episode. Of, like, it's not even... I don't know. I enjoyed that opening segment. I know yeah, a lot I of y'all were good like... Too. I thought it was good. I like Sinister Rock. I thought it was good. But, like, man... You know, it's not like Illy and Roxanne were call-ups. They were just like NXT advertisements. Yeah, you know? they're in town, so let's have them on the show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Maggie says, well, update. He did not, in fact, do better regarding women's wrestling. Drew's reign lasted about the length of the women's matches tonight. FML. I know, yeah, it's massively true. disappointing. Massively disappointing. Yeah, it's been it's been a disappointing night anyways. Thank you for the super chat, though, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. Maggie is our champion, without a doubt. Uh, Twine Wonder here says, Raw after Mania isn't a thing and hasn't been for a thing for years. That's true. That is true. That is true. S8 says, uh, Drew's character is blaming everyone but himself for his losses. I know, it's pretty great. Anytime, Maggie. We welcome Maggie Rance. Uh, Griga, gifted a membership community. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Blake Whitehouse has it right. The wheels are spinning until the draft. I think something similar happened last year where it was like a whole lot of nothing was happening until the draft. You could tell Triple H wanted to put all his pieces in place. <clears throat> so what is it? it's not next week but it's the following week it starts it's the last the last friday and monday of april okay okay so three weeks cool yeah three weeks from today will be the raw one i have not even had my twitch up really you're not farming points here no, nah, I should be, but I'm not. I'm not. Not there. Duh. Duh. Oh my goodness. Uh, Wrestle Forever says, "Did the channel prediction go up?" No, I'm wait till after the commercial break. He's gonna wait till after the commercial break. After the commercial break. Ooh. What are you at in terms of channel points? Like uh, less than you. Not by, I don't think, much. I've got 41,000 over. Yeah, I'm about 21 behind you. 21,000 behind okay. you. Dude, you're fucking doing too much, Jeff. I know. I love you, Mama. But you're kind of a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love you, though. You out. Oh, so Luis asked for sub update. You got it. I think it's at 85? 86. 16 away. 16 away. 16, 16 away. We subs just need away. 16 of y'all. How many 16 people we got of y'all. Right if you haven't hit we subscribe yet. There's got to be 16 people watching. We got 700 sub, people yeah. watching. Hey, at like our highest, I think it was like at 900. So that shows it's either us or I like to think it's probably just raw. You want me to check on more comments from our Friendo Club? Uh, yeah, let's do that. That's fun. That's kind of a, a, a backdoor pilot for a new show on Friendo Club Wrestling. Yeah. Oh, YouTube don't want to load. Load, darn you. Steven says the opener got a higher rating than the main event. In my book, it did. Yeah, in Steve's book, it did. Uh, Alto says, Golden One is hosting SmackDown September 20th. Y'all should come. Yeah, I'm kind of over uh, going to televised wrestling shows live. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Raymundo oh. says, the sentence, it was a glass break away from getting to four and three-quarter star, broke my brain. That's not how star ratings work. <laughs> He says, I guess if that's how you want to define them, that's fine. 
Can you explain to me, Larson, how star ratings work, please? However you want them to, Steve. Exactly. Uh, White Brody says, have you guys looked into stream watch streaks yet? No. That was a thing, though. Like, if you watch a lot of streams and something good happens to you. You get, like, a bonus of some sort. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've I've heard about... Oh, wow. Wrestle Forever says, check the comments that need to be reviewed. Those are going to be even worse. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. Held for review. What the heck? How are there none here? None held oh, for Oh, show reading. hidden comments. I'm sorry. It says uh, comments that may be offensive have been hidden. Show them. Oh, man. <laughs> JT Savage says, I'd happily take the full 12 inches of glizzy penetrating my mouth hole. That was fucking. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Wow. Ryan Waslowski <clears throat> says, you fat, balding, and then he says a word that you're not supposed to say anymore, uh, are going to bash Hogan and Warrior, but say Damian Sandow could have been an all-time great. You got Benoit levels of CTE. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. He says, you guys are bashing your heads against each other's pelvises too hard when 69-ing. <laughs> 69 me, Steve. <laughs> Wow. What the heck? Wow. Oh, here's another one from the same guy. Oh, here. Hold on. Channel point predictions going up. Go ahead. The ultimate challenge was the greatest wrestling match of all times. And you two balding doughy fucks can't say shit <laughs> just because I didn't do any flip kicks or whatever. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this guy says, just do the fucking voice. You shit in. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh. Well, that's pretty much it. That's all the ones that I can read. Wow. There's a couple other that are wildly more more offensive than that, but not nearly as clever. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, thanks, Curious Corduroy. Says Larson is not doughy. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> You're not doughy either, Steve. No, I'm plenty doughy. I'm fine with it. <clears throat> How many channel points do I? Oh, wow! This is—I don't know. This this seems like an instance where Drew is going to get desperate and not win this one. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. So I assume this. Oh wow, would be... Jay is up big here. Yeah, I know. That's who I'd go to if, go with if not Drew. But if this is—they didn't say when the title shot was going to happen. No, they did not. So if this is for backlash. That's one thing. If this is just for a random episode of Raw, like Ricochet could win this. Twinewinder with the sub says, uh, come on, Raw, do something. Yeah. I don't think they'll do Bronson. Be oh, man. Jay's got the rip tape. Oh, wow. Well, Jay's in it, actually. Pretty good spot right here. There's the bell, everybody. There we go. Let's try that. Who'd you go with, Steve? What's that? Who'd you go with for your channel points? Bronson Reed. Interesting. I, didn't think I just put a thousand. It was a twenty percent underdog. Oh, okay. Who did you Jay go with? Settled, Jay settled back down to thirty-one percent. So I put about twenty-five hundred. That's a good pick right there. Man. Ricochet just about over over uh, yeeted them. Oh shit! Yeet, yeet! All right, I'm gonna check the offensive hidden comments on our going in raw channel. Oh dear. Yeah, this is gonna be even worse. Held for review. Oh, I want some hidden ones. It doesn't say any. Maybe I don't have them hidden. Ah, uh, boring, boring. Oh, these are all fine. Mopey Corbett has asked that you think uh, you guys think that the arm bar was Bronson Reed's cons a consolation prize for Elimination Chamber. I mean, he was there for the birth of his, his child, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think he's going to complain about missing Elimination Chamber. 
So we're getting worse comments on Friendo Club than going in Raw is what you're saying. By far. Interesting. I wonder if it's because for the Friendo Club stuff's getting out in, in front of people who aren't familiar with our stuff. Could be. Maybe. Could be. Have you gotten any new kicks for basketball? Oh shit! You're just gonna rely on the on the witnesses till something else comes along. Uh, I, I I brought my other witnesses, my white witnesses, in from outside, so I'll probably clean those up. I those they, you know it's weird. Same shoe, maybe slightly different material. I don't know, but those white ones were just so. It was like they were form fitted to my feet. It was amazing. Do the white ones have any tread left on the bottom? Not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot. She gets in those and one shoes I, I told you about. Dude, I might go to Walmart and get some and ones. I saw a sneak, uh, someone do a review with the the fifteen dollar and one Walmart shoes, and they said that apart from the lack of cushioning, they weren't bad. I might do that, kind of as a gag, but also just to hey, you know what? It's not. Here's the thing about me, dude. It's not like I'm like you know. I don't know. Like as long as they're as long as they're comfortable on my feet and they don't fuck my feet up, I'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more I'm more conscientious of cushion just Ooh. because I'm old and I already got foot problems. I don't want to get other joint problems in my lower body, so I like cushion is kind of like high priority for me. Alexander says you guys doing a review after Raws or tomorrow. It's tomorrow at 11 a.m. Tomorrow, Pacific. yeah. If yeah. like if something monumental happened. All right. I might consider it, but nothing. If MJF comes out happened. at the end, we'll do it. Um on Wrestle Juice, I've got mm. hidden comments. Oh. Show hidden comments. Um, I don't know what that means. That is pretty wild in that Papa John's commercial. The, the announcer's head explodes with the pizza. Oh, shit. I didn't see it. Yeah, they've run it a couple times. And yeah, the Darn dude's it. head explodes and it turns into the pizza. Um, yeah, most of these are just being rude to the people doing the hot takes, not to me. No. Uh, Bree here has one, says this one from the star ratings vid. Waited so long for the supposed piping hot out of the oven star ratings that I got bored and made my own. Anything after 12 hours after the event is way too long. El Riz. <laughs> <laughs> see i like that i like yeah. that because they're basing it solely off of how quickly we get them out which is yes. our running gag oh here we go ah. you don't have to answer this but it's on the ask wrestle juice uh question thread all right and it's here's the thing wrestle juice it's it's steve content but i reference you Every once in a while. Makes sense. They want to know, is Larson an ass or tits man? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't know, I guess you don't have to answer it. <laughs> if that oh, other guy is to be goodness. believed, you're a 69 Steve guy. <laughs> I guess so. You're bashing my head into your pelvis. <laughs> you're a violent 69 guy. <laughs> no, I got no <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, Jorge here says randomly you guys replace Kingdom. Kingdom. In the Undisputed Kingdom, did anyone, do you think anyone would notice? Oh, we actually replaced the Kingdom in Undisputed Kingdom. Would anybody notice? <laughs> I think they would. I think they would. Man, that's too funny. Nick's third nipple, it was a bit, says, Larson is an ass man. <laughs> He's an ass, ass man. man. <laughs> uh, ain't looking good for Jay. No yeet, apparently. Oh, no yeet. 
We just went. We just came back from fucking commercial. You know, another goddamn commercial break, bro. They didn't have any in the first hour. No, I understand why. So you get but like a million. Shit. Yeah, load ridiculous. them up in the second hour. I'm gonna ask you a serious question, Steve. Yeah. Do you think Robert Downey Jr. deserved to win an Oscar for Oppenheimer? Uh, who are his ops? Who are his uh, other his ops? <laughs> <laughs> Who are the other nominees? No, I know what you mean. That's what you refer to them as his <laughs> off. <laughs> he wins. He goes, rest in piss. <laughs> rest in piss. <laughs> uh, let's see oh, it. my gosh. Um, so it was him, Sterling Brown from American Fiction, De Niro in Killers of the Flower Moon, Ryan Gosling and Barbie. And Mark Ruffalo and Poor Things. I think you've seen one of the other movies, haven't you? You've seen Barbie. Have you even seen Barbie? No. Oh, wow. I haven't seen any of these other movies. But I feel like I'm qualified to answer this question. Sure, sure, sure. So I feel like Robert Downey Jr. and Robert De Niro... And you've seen... Have you seen Killers yet or no? Yeah, I've seen it. I feel like they brought the same energy. Like, I'm a really good actor. I can chew up this scenery... I'm not really, it's not much of a stretch for me. Am mm-hmm. I right about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'll, my, I, I have no idea what Sterling K. Brown's performance would have been like in American fiction. I want to see that movie. It looks good. My bet would be. And I feel like I've seen enough clips of Barbie to understand that Gosling is basically doing like a step above a Saturday Night Live performance. Oh, it's a few steps above that. Okay. I get the feeling that Mark Ruffalo and Poor Things, that's probably a challenging enough role because of what I've heard about the movie. Yeah. So my my guess is it probably should have gone to him. All right. That's my guess. But I mean, dude, it always go like actors who just are oozing charisma and can chew scenery. It always goes to them, even though, you know, what was Robert Downey Jr. walking around in character? Was he method on that? Did he need to do anything but just more serious Tony Stark? I know. I know. You know what I mean? It wasn't really anything different than that. It didn't seem like a stretch. No. Right. No. It wasn't bad. It just didn't really seem like a stretch. I thought. No, it was uh, fine. Lily Gladstone from Killers of the Flower Moon should have won because, like, her performance was like a master class in subtlety. I I even think what's her face the one, uh, uh, what's her name the one who Emma won? Stone Emma Stone I think she probably thought that too. Yeah, her yeah. reaction seemed that yeah. way. Yeah. 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 Lily, Lily Gladstone was really good. Hey, no, dude, I don't have anything. Yeah, Organ Grinders got it right. Gosling was fun, but I wouldn't have given him an Oscar for it. Yeah, right. You could tell he was having an absolute blast. Oh, sure. And that's that always translates. Part. Yeah. And he's just like, you know, he's got such a charismatic, magnetic presence on screen. Dude, I want to see that uh, Fall Guy movie. Yeah. That looks like it's going to be fun as hell. Yeah. I still want to see poor things. I get caught up I know, in my, I have my, my, I my want Yorgos to. movies. I feel like it's going to be very uncomfortable. Yeah. Did you? I, I, I never did see The Lobster. Is that any good? Lobster's interesting. Okay. Um, I think I liked it. There is one line that Colin Farrell delivered in this really like darkly comic way that got a chuckle out of me. I don't remember what the line was. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting film. I never saw Killing of a Sacred Deer. I did see that one. And that was kind of, you know what? That was kind of to me. It was kind of like Inherent Vice. I remember enjoying it while I watched it. And then after the fact, I remembered virtually nothing about it. Yeah. And that kind of sticks with, it's like, well, how good could it have been, you know? Yeah. Oh, good job, Drew. Um, yeah, I remember watching Inherent Vice and thinking, this is boring. 
Yeah, I remember being into it. Well, not into it. Hard, and being into it is hard to say. What, what did you feel during Licorice Pizza? At least the performances were more engaging. But I don't know. Yeah, what's his face? His kid was really good. Yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Boy, I miss him. He's so he was so yeah, good. Yeah, he was awesome. He was so good. Uh Review King here with a super chat says during commercial Samantha reading signs of the night almost read one that said watch out for Diddy but started laughing instead. Uh J Nub says, Oh, this is for Damien Priest Championship. Yeah. Uh Lou here says going to Starcast this weekend. I'm so flippin' excited and I still haven't made the jacket. Mm-hmm. They're doing a Starcast in Australia. Uh, Uncanny Ironfish says, "You guys entered the raw gate and end up end up ready to star in one of the alternate universes." Eric Young's pictures. What are your stage names? Oh, oh wow, oh wow. Okay. Um, so, like, typically, you're supposed to go by your middle name. You know what? I think it should just be Steve Thunder. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good that's point. Good. Steve Thunder. Steve Thunder. That's a good one. Um, gosh, I don't know. There you go. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, here we go. Damn it, Drew. Bree says, last one, I think I found my favorite. I think you guys should have had to figure out your star ratings after sitting in 45 degree weather for six <laughs> hours, then been thrown through a metal ladder instead of being comfortable in shirt sleeves in your $600 gaming chair. <laughs> That's funny. Is- <laughs> that's awesome this is 129.99 yeah i, I got, got this uh, sale at staples for about that I yeah i got mine on sale at staples too i would never spend 600 dollars on a chair Uh, Dan Jammin says, just tuning in, can we get a rundown of the night so far? It's been pretty underwhelming. That's a good rundown right there. Oh, oh Drew's going to do that oh, crunch man. German suplex deal, though. Nat says, Steve, did you get free assembly for your chair? Oh, now, these things are usually, I'm not huge on they're assembly, but these things are pretty easy to put yeah, together. Yeah, they're pretty easy. I put mine together too. Oh, is he gonna power bomb into Drew? Oh shit! This match has been decent though. Yeah, this has been fun. Uh, Mr. Sinister says, so you guys still the shit twins, or will you guys now rebrand yourself to the 69 twins? Yeet! Yeet! Well, it'd be, have to be like 69 guys, because that's a, more of a rhyme than 69 yeah. twins. Yeah. The 69ers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scooter here says, I much prefer Melser's ratings by no... Wait, what? You mean what? over ours? The fuck? Scooter, you're saying you prefer Melser's ratings over ours? Okay, is there some context there that we're missing? I don't know. Hold on, I get down all the messages here. I much I prefer know. Melser's ratings, but I know that there may be some questionable ratings that can scratch my head. I much prefer Melser's ratings. Over what? Over what? Consider your answer carefully, Scooter. Scooter is Brian Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestle Forever says he's an other guy. <laughs> Come on, Jay. You got two minutes to win this match. Is this where Drew McIntyre hits Claymore and Ricochet to get the win? Cash just says anybody else's. <laughs> he prefers anybody else's. Oh, shit. Ricochet's oh, wow. a crazy spot. It's going to. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, my gosh. Ow. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Ow. (laughs) 
Bleh. All right, so Jay's eating this pin, huh? Come on, Jay's already lost to Drew like twice. Come on. Drew. Yeet. Oh, good sell by Jay there. Go Pat. CM Punk's music going to hit right now? Oh, it's Phil! What? Oh, yeah! He's smiling! <laughs> Yeet! Yeet! There we go, Jay! <laughs> Get this win, Jay. Oh, it's like you hit a brick wall with that spear. Yeah, I know. There you go, Jay. Probably win some channel points this weekend. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, like a Phil's doing the dance. He is. Look at that. That's amazing. Scooter says, what I mean is I prefer the Melser ratings when I see them through the squared circle Reddit form. That doesn't make it better. All right. <laughs> Scooter, I don't care. You We're can enjoy Melser's ratings. We just time. like to give you shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just noticed you stole my name on the Zoom. <laughs> Who, what? I put Larson after Mania and then you stole it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was clever. No, it was clever. <laughs> well, nobody can see it anyways. It's buried under the thing. I here. can see it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Scoot. <laughs> I'm sitting here all duh. <laughs> duh. <laughs> and I see you stole my name. It's been like that for three hours. I feel like an idiot. Oh, yeah. As well, you should. Uh, hold on a second. Let me. I'll show the people what he's talking about here. Where's my our Zoom camera here? All right. So <laughs> if I put my yeah. So so Larson put Larson after Mania, and then afterwards I put my Larson after my Steve after Mania. I should just put Larson after Mania. <laughs> he's a cop, literally copy and paste it. Yeet yeet. Oh, oh man, what a mid fucking Rob Tremaine. Right, this is the last time tomorrow. we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing this again. No, S sorry, Triple H. You know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, won't get fooled again. Can't fool me again. Can't fool yeah. me again. Um. Anyways, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. We appreciate it. Uh. So, how many people we have right now? Oh, Twitch, uh, two hundred thirty-nine. All right, well, I don't care about them. On YouTube, we've got over 800. Oh, oh let me see what the sub situation is. And here's the thing. When I when I stop, it's oh, going to take... Oh, only 11 away. Oh, come on, YouTube. Hit hit hit, hit those hit that subscribe button. It's going to redirect you to the premiere of the next WrestleJuice video uh, that's starting in three minutes. Wow, uh, look at that. <laughs> smart. It's, smart. It's WrestleMania Night 2 hot take, so be sure to go check that out. Hit the like button. And, uh, yeah, uh, Twitch, I don't even fucking care what you do. You just fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I guess maybe we can raid somebody on Twitch. Sure, here. let's I raid think. somebody. I got, I got Oh, I can do it right now. I can, I can do, it, do right it, now. it, too. Uh, mm, uh, man, comments still going. Dude, that's Hey, Scoops weird. is on. Let's raid Scoops. Is he? Where is yeah, he? Yeah, Serenity's Bane. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. We're going to raid Scoops, everybody. Start watching. I don't want to. He's got a disclaimer in front of his shit. What does it All say? Right. Uh, it says uh, he curses, I guess. What does oh. he say? Oh. Does he say fuck a lot? All know. right, here we go. We're going to raid Scoops, everybody. He used to do stuff for us. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. And then YouTube over here as well. So, and stream. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>